Welcome back to my channel. This is Vitaman, and today we are here with another problem on statistics. Uh, here it says the problem says that to find the maximum likelihood function or the MLE for variance of n mu comma sigma, where n represents the normal distribution, where our mu is known, and then we have to show that this estimator is unbiased. Okay. So our first target is to find the maximum likelihood function. For this, we need to know the pdf of normal distribution so we would start something like this the likelihood function is given by l sigma be as it is and then sorry sigma square x1 x2 like this this will go up to xn this is given by the product of we would denote it as pi here we will write the pdf of normal distribution which is given by 1 by sigma root 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 sigma square x minus mu whole square here it will be xi as i is running from 1 to n this is written in product form now if we break this, this product part, it would show us something like this 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus 1 by 2 sigma square. Xi means for first value we have x1 minus mu whole square. This is multiplied by 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus 1 by 2 sigma square x2 minus mu whole square. Like this, this will go up to xn. 1 by sigma by 2 minus 1 by 2 sigma square xn minus mu square this is how it should go hence what we can observe in here that here we have 1 by sigma root 2 pi this term we have n number of times right 1 2 like this will go on up till n and if we and the rest of our part that is this power if we want to totally write them in the power of e it would represent a summation Hence, how it would look like? Let's see. Say we keep 1 by sigma root 2 pi. This will come to the power n. And since the powers of e are in multiplication form, this as per the laws of indices will come as summation. So, e to the power minus 1 by 2 sigma square. This is a constant. Summation xi minus mu whole square. I is running from 1 to n. After this much is clear. Okay, this is how it should look like. Now, um, if we put this denominator in up here, 1 by sigma root by, this will become minus n, and this will be e to the power minus 1 by 2 sigma square. The rest of our part will remain as it is, there shall be no change. Now we would be manipulating this part just for ease of uh, doing calculation in the later half. How we would write? We would write this as sigma square into 2 pi to the power minus n by 2. Okay. And the rest of it will remain as it is minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation xi minus mu whole square i running from 1 to n now we would be taking the log natural on both sides this is this was our left hand side and this is our right hand side now taking ln on both sides we have ln of l of this part sigma square x1 x2 like this xn this equals Mm, if we take a log natural in here, the power will come to the front. Log natural 2 pi sigma square plus log natural e to the power this part. Hence, that would also come in the front. So, we would be having minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation i equals 1 to n 
x i minus mu whole square log natural e log natural e gives us one so no need to write that okay so we are left with this right now let us just break it a bit more log natural of l we are representing this as say small l okay and the distribution remains as it is this gives as minus n by 2 log natural we are breaking this to 2 pi minus n by 2 log natural log natural sigma square minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation i equals 1 to n xi minus mu whole square okay now here we need to apply a property to maximize our question was given to find the maximum likelihood for the variance so in order to find in here to find or say to maximize the variance we need to show that del del sigma square we need to show that del del sigma square of this thing uh, that is this distribution l sigma square x1 x2 xn should be equal to 0 okay so which means what we have to perform our derivation a derivative of this part with respect to sigma square and show that it's equal to 0 and find the relation from it okay so now let us start with it minus n by 2 log natural 2 pi this is a complete constant term constant terms will become 0 0 so the next part is minus n by 2 minus n by 2 is a constant it remains as it is log natural of sigma square this will be 1 by sigma square remember here we are dealing with sigma uh, we are making the derivative with respect to sigma square and not sigma so it will be 1 by sigma square plus 1 by 2 sigma square in here this will become 1 by 2 sigma square whole square and the rest over will remain as it is this mu square this equals 0 now sigma square and this square can get cancelled as sigma square is not equal to 0 for obvious reasons now what are we left with if we put this here and shift this to the later part we have 1 by 2 sigma square summation i equals 1 to n xi minus mu whole square equals n by 2 yes n by 2 2 and 2 from here gets cancelled so we are having here the relation sigma square equals 1 by n summation xi minus mu whole square where i is running from 1 to n therefore what we have got here the estimate of sigma square n uh, we are denoting it with a cap okay so just for a distinguishing factor 1 by n summation i running from 1 to n xi minus mu whole square okay so this is our estimate now we also had another demand in the question which said that to show that this estimate is unbiased in case of unbiasedness we have earlier done in the just in the previous video that to show to show unbiasedness to show that expectation of sigma square n equals sigma square this is what we need to prove okay so we have therefore expectation of sigma square n gap equals expectation of this thing 1 by n summation i running from 1 to n xi minus mu whole square 1 by n being a constant shifts to the left summation i can also shift to the left we are left with expectation of xi minus mu whole square 
by n expectation of xi minus mu whole square is actually the formula for variance of xi so we have variance of xi 1 by n summation i 1 to n variance of xi means n into sigma square for variance xi means sigma square and this sum is running from 1 to n so we have n sigma square and this gives us sigma square therefore expectation square n equals sigma square hence it is an unbiased estimator so this is our another proof done and dusted